sedum can add a lot of interest to your flower bed throughout the winter, but if you want to prep it for spring and not have to worry about it, because if you do wait, you could be dealing with little rosettes that grow in before you're ready to cut off last year's stems. <laughs> There's a sedum right there, and over there, really pretty. The seed pods are the cutest. Still a little bit of pink in these ones. But these stems are going to die over winter and then rosettes form at the bottom. These will be like, they'll be leaves for next year. We don't have any leaves right now. And then stem, flower stems will grow out of that. But these grow and they block you from being able to cut the stems down low so you're stuck either going one by one painstakingly or um, cutting the rosettes on accident. Sometimes they come up pretty easily, especially right now. They're kind of moist. This one isn't coming up, so I'm going to cut it. Before I cut, I'm going to move the leaves so that I make sure I don't cut any of the rosettes down there. Gonna use your thinner and cut carefully. These are from last year. They're like straw like now, so easier to pull up. There's a little pink or is that? Pulling up what I can, what I can't, and cutting. So there we go, that's the whole plant right there, ready for next year, and I'm just going to cover it with leaves so it gets a little protection. It's a little viburnum sapling. I pulled the stem a little too hard and pulled a rosette. And if I wanted to, I can just replant this, just like this. and it should grow next year. But if you don't want an extra plant, make sure you check your stems before you pull too hard. And cut the ones that need to be cut.